That is no longer in me. I get it back in the armor of the family. In that in the massacre of the Yamara, this Yamara, what make me to be me? That is no longer in me. I get it back. What make me to be me? That is no longer in me. I get it back. I get it back. I get it what make me to be me? That is no longer a man. What used to be in my life that make me to be? That is no longer a man. I can't explain. What make me to be me? That is no longer a man. I get it back. What make me to be me? What make me to be me? That is no longer in me. I get it back. In the name of Jesus. What make me to be me? That is no longer in me. In the Radasakana Maramadada. In Maradadadadadada Ray. Maleka Syria Dadalia Maraba. What make me to be me? That is no longer a man. Marasedia da Calera da Siri. Eta da Maradadari. Malia Sakatikada. Maria da Silina Lili. What make me to be me? That is no longer a man. I get it back. In the name of Jesus. Mada Silia Dada. Makada Sadama Namada, Malaka Nakata Kasiride, Edelia Radada Silima, Madaka Lede Derenedere, Eria Mamasi, Ilia Karia Mamada, Erata Selia Makadem, Idia Mamasa de Deria Dada, Maraka Lediasi, Mamara Dadasa, Elia Karada. Maradesi, e kale amada sa de dele, e de de ne karia sa de, e Maria da Silia Marama. What used to be my life for good, that is no longer there. Male kasa da da. What people used to say, my lad, that is no longer there. What my destiny, destiny carry. That has been stolen. I receive it back. Eli Maradadadada. Maria Kalia Sadelia. Etadana Maramada. Maleke de leke de sia. Maderia de dele mama. Makala sederia de adam. What used to be in me that is no longer in me. I receive it back. Male Karadam. What make me to be me? That is no longer there. I receive it back in the name of Jesus. Elia Delia Manama. Edekelia Masadara. Elekete Deredema. Manasa de Kaliaradada. What make me to be me? That is no longer in me. I receive it back. What make me to be me? That is no longer in me. I receive it back. What make me to be me? That is no longer in me. I receive it back. Elimarada Sadada. Elekete Deriada. Marada Shelie. Etekelia Marama. What make me to be me? That is no longer a man. I receive it back in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. If you ever see this video, whether on Facebook, on YouTube.
I need you to pray. This is my personal prayer hour. I'm sharing it with you. Perhaps you would like to pray with me. And the prayer point is, what make me to be me? That is no longer in me. I'm getting it back. That's the prayer. That's the prayer I want to pray for the next 40 minutes. What make me to be me? That is no longer in me. I'm getting it back. And I say sorry in the Bible. Remember we started yesterday. The seven spirits of Jacob. The, 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 the seven Jacobian spirits. And today, I'm reading a story, one of the story of Jacob. I told you, anyone that work with a person that possess a Jacobian spirit, a Jacobian spirit, they lose. You will not lose in life. You will not lose in life. I take you to the Bible. That's just one story that I would like to read. How Esau lost his destiny. And he cried, he wept, he couldn't get it back. But your own will not be like that. I need you to be praying. What make me to be me? That is no longer in me. I get it back. As I pray, I saw a lot of fake people. What make them? The star, the glory, their birthright, their destiny. They have lost it. As I've said, this is my personal prayer hour. But I would like you to join and share the brokers so that people can join. Just before we go to that story, I need you to pray for five minutes. What make me to be me? That's something that makes you to be you. And that's what we call bad rights. What make you to be you? That is no longer in you. I want you to claim it. If you see that any aspect of your life yesterday is better than today, this prayer is for you. If you look at your life and you realize that one side of your life, that one part of your life, that you used to have an experience that is good, that is no longer there, this prayer is for you. Because there's something that used to be in you that is no longer there. And that was the story of Esau. He carried a great destiny until he had a, potty, a, a plate of porridge. What make me to be me? That is no longer a man. I get it back in the name of Jesus. What make me to be me? You once have a you once have a flourish a flourishing business. Suddenly the flourishing business became empty. It because what make that business to be flourishing has been taken away. What make me to be me? That is no longer a me. I get it back. If you see that your yesterday is better than today. And that one area of your life is better than what it used to be. You see that a part of your yesterday is better. Your business was better yesterday than today. It's not your fault. It's because you have not prayed this prayer. There is something that used to be in that business. That is a glory. That is a star. That is a favor that used to be upon you. But that favor is not there again. I want you to pray this prayer. What make me to be me? That is no longer in me. I get it back in the name of Jesus. I need you to pray wherever you are joining us, whether you are watching right now or you are going to watch on YouTube. Anytime you see these brokers, I need you to share and I need you to pray yourself. Don't just type amen. Ilia da kasakada. What make me to be me? What make me to be me? That is no longer in me. Hey, I get it back. What make me to be me? What make me to be me? The glory that the enemy stole. My star that the enemy stole. The glory that I took away. The star that the enemy stole. I get it back. What make me to be me? What make me to be me? Me? me to be me? That is no longer in me. I get it back. 
The Lord bless you as you are joining us. There is a story ahead that I want to share with you before I read the story of Esau. There used to be a man of God, a very anointed man of God. And he rented an apartment. And that apartment is an apartment that contains many people, several people. You know what they call face me and face you in Nigeria? Uh, an apartment that can contain up to about 14 families. And the way the house is built is the toilet is not meant for one person. Where the, the, the east themselves is the same place. So you have to move out of your room and go outside whenever you want to urinate. So each night, this pastor will wake up and go and urinate. And the neighbor came to the new apartment, to the neighborhood. And this neighbor had a 14 years gay, a 14 years girl. And in the middle of the night, this 14 year girl will go and lie down on the passage without wearing anything naked and this pastor must pass this passage and the first day that the pastor saw the naked 14 year old girl at the passage he closed his eyes he said the lord rebuke you and he went east himself and came back the second day he woke up in the middle of the night passed through the passage he saw the girl again lie down naked not wearing anything he said the lord rebuke you and he went to the toilet and urinated again. But when it's like more than 10 days, the pastor began to look at the lady. Whenever he wants to urinate, he will look at the lady, remove his eyes, went to the toilet, and go back to his room. But on a particular day, the pastor could no longer contain it. When he woke up and saw the 14 year old girl lying down naked at the passage. He thought, a thought came to him that since nobody will see me, let me have sex with this girl and everything will be over. And the pastor slept with the 14 year old girl. The pastor thought it was over. The girl did not argue with him. But in the night, he had a dream. And in that dream, he saw that he was holding a, 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 what do I call it now? A bowl of water. He was holding a bowl of water. And a big lorry hit him in the dream. And part of the water fell down. And this pastor woke up from this revelation. He doesn't understand. But he had a ministration the second day in one of these white garment church. When the pastor entered into the white garment church, you know in white garment church, they prophesy. And the prophecy came that our invited pastor had seven stars on his destiny. But yesterday night, he lost three. And the pastor realized that the sex he had with the 14 year old girl the previous night had cost him three out of the seven stars that he had. That is exactly what I'm praying for this afternoon. What make that pastor? to be great was seven stars. But as a result of one sexual encounter, he lost three of it. So perhaps maybe he used to function in the ministry of deliverance before prophecy and maybe he had seven different gifts. Suddenly he realized that three of these spiritual gifts are not functioning again because he lost it. What make him to be him? Is no longer there. And that's why I need you to pray that prayer. What make me to be me? Some of you, you used to live a life of favor. 
you use anything you touch, become great. But now the story has changed. The business was flourishing in your hand before, but now the story has changed. Because what makes you to be you is no longer there. That's why you have lived a life of abundance before, but now you are living a life of penury. You are living a life of influence before, but nobody wants to listen to you again. You have you are once anointed before, but nobody can trace the anointing to you again. You are once committed to the Lord before, but the commitment was not there. Look at your life before you pray this prayer. And there's one evidence you will know this prayer is for you. It's not for everybody. You know the story of Samson? Samson was mightily anointed until he lost what made him to be him. And one day after his sexual encounter, he wanted to do like before. The Bible said, behold, he knew not that the Holy Spirit has departed for him. What made him to be him has left him. I need you to pray that prayer and share this broadcast. What make me to be me? That is no longer in me. I get it back. Join me to pray. Liria Mada Dasakalia. Maria Dederia Lakari. Masakiria Malishaka Dederia. What make me to be me? That is no longer in me. I get it back. Eria Mada Dasa. Mareke Deria Dada. Marakala se de 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 eriamalia dasia. What make me to be man? That is no longer a man. That glory that is no longer there. That influence that is no longer there. That favor that is no longer upon your life. I restore it back to you in the name of Jesus. I pray for whosoever that can say, Amen. What make you to be great before? That is no longer in your life. The anointing that has left you. The favor that has left you. The influence that has left you. The odor of favor that has left you. You are getting it back in the name of Jesus. I prophesy. What make your destiny great? That is no longer in you. I pray receive it in the name of Jesus. What make you to be you? I've never prayed this kind of prayer before. And that's why it says my personal prayer time. I need you to pray with me. What make me to be me? Every area of my life that I used to be better. When you begin to use the word, when I used to be this, when I used to be that, when I used to walk in power, when I used to walk in anointing, when I used to walk in favor, when I used to have money, when I used to have influence, when I used to have authority, when I used when you use the word use and it's something valuable and it's no longer there. This prayer is for you. Elia Maradadada Leke Sekele Maradia da Sada Male Karia Sadele Kedelia. The strength that make you a mighty man of valor. Maleka Seke Dia Dasia Maramada. The strength and the grace that have left you. Receive it back. The strength. And the grace that I've left you, receive it back. The strength and the grace that I've left you, receive it back. The strength and the grace that I've left you, the hoye, the power, the anointing, the authority, the people that matter to your line that I've left you, receive them back. Le karia madase e le kade maradasam. What make me to be me? That is no longer in me. I receive it back. What make me to be me? I need you to pray that prayer. Don't just wash me. Elia dadaram. What make me to be me? That is no longer in me. I get it back in the name of Jesus. Hide another story of a very brilliant young boy. He was an excellent student, a, a first-class student. And because he was very brilliant, ladies do come to him. I pray for you. Every destiny destroyer that has been assigned to, from the kingdom of hell 
to reduce you to nothing. I pray before they destroy you, may the Almighty God destroy them. That prayer is for somebody. Every destiny destroyer that have been assigned to destroy your ministry, that have been assigned to destroy your gift, that have been assigned to destroy your destiny before they achieve their target. May the power of God destroy them. And this brother, a very brilliant sharp, very excellent guy, he was a first class student. A lady came to him and he had sex with this lady. And after the sexual encounter, he had the revelation and he saw that he was lying down on the bed. And another image of himself stood up from that bed after the sexual encounter. That another image of himself stood up. And at the back of himself, they wrote spirit of excellence. And that spirit of excellence departed from him because of that sin that he committed. That spirit of excellence is what make him to be him. Is what make him to be excellent. But the spirit left him. You see, people don't just become failure in life. People don't just become defeated in life. God created all of us to be great. But as you journey through life, there are some people you meet that they either see or destroy what make you to be you. I need you to pray. That's the only prayer we are praying today. What made that man to be a first class student was the spirit of excellence. And after that sexual encounter with that strange girl, the spirit of excellence left him. You are listening to me. You see that this is not the best version of you. It's because what should have made you to be you is no longer in you. And that's why I need you to pray for two minutes before I go to the story of Esau. And how what made him to be him left him. I need you to pray as I pray for myself. What make me to be me? Cadesia. That is no longer. Have you ever seen a madman on the road? I went to the village about, about two weeks ago. And I saw one of my cosmates. I saw one of my cosmates on the road. He looked exactly like a mad person. And I said, what's wrong with this man? He said he has come back from the city and is now doing farming and all. He looked exactly like a madman. And I realized this is not the boy I used to know. I was walking on the street and a madman called my name. He said, Larry, he called my name. I realized how could a madman know my name? And I look at him. He said, don't you know me? I said, I don't know you. He now mentioned the name of the secondary school we went together about 20 years ago. I realized this is not the boy I used to know. What made him to be him has left him. I pray for you as I pray for myself. What make me to be me? What make you to be you that has left you? You are getting it back. I need you to pray for yourself as I pray for myself. What make me to be me that has left me, that has departed from me, the glory that has left me, the spirit of excellence that have left me, the favor that have left me, the authority that have left me, the anointing that have left me, the grace that have left me, the one that have left you. We are getting it back. I need you to pray in tongue. Ilia dasa, makaria desia, maleke deleke leke deria, mara se de deleke dia, reka dasi mama ma, eria dasa dalaka dadare, eleke deria dasi, mateke liada, maliara se deliara, makadashe de de deri. Somebody, you had the revelation. You had the revelation. And in that revelation, you see yourself running away from yourself. 
You see yourself running away from yourself. You are pursuing yourself, but you couldn't catch up with yourself. Kalema Asiada, thank you, Holy Spirit. You saw in a revelation. You saw in a revelation. You are pursuing yourself. You see yourself running away from yourself. And you pursue yourself, you couldn't cash up. That is why you have not been able to cash up with your life goal. Malel desikalia, the grace to run. Malel desilia dadara, the grace to run. Malel karasadere, malel marisadere. Ekele marasadi diri ilia mashakadam, the grace to run. And overte, eleke deliaba. That grace is given to you. What make you to be? you that is no longer in you. Receive it back in the name of Jesus. Let me conclude with the story of Jacob. J uh, Jacob and Esau. Esau was a man that lost what make him to be in to a place of food. Genesis chapter 25 verse 27 to 34. I will read this story and we pray for five minutes and we meet tomorrow. Genesis 25, verse 27 to 34. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field, and Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. Verse 28. And Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his vanity. But Rebekah loved Jacob. And Jacob sought pottage. And Esau came from the feed. And he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage. For I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. Verse 31. And Jacob said, Sell me this day your birthright. Does it make sense to you? A brother came, a twin brother, is asking for a plate of food from his twin brother. And the response from his twin brother is for me to give you a plate of food. You have to give me your birthright. And because this guy did not know what it means, he also said, what is this to me? Verse, verse 29. And Jacob saw portage and he saw, verse 30, and he saw said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red potty, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. And Jacob said, Send me this day your birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die. And what profit shall this birthright do to me? And Jacob said, Swear to me this day. And he swore unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. And Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils, and he did eat and drink, and rose up, and went his way. Thus Esau despised his batterites. Can you see that? A man lost his destiny to his brother. When you journey with a Jacobian spirit, it's a monetary spirit looking for opportunity to take what belongs to you. And that is the prayer I need you to pray. Every Jacob around my destiny, always looking for opportunity to take what belongs to me. Jacob was always looking for opportunity to take away what belongs to his son. There are people like that around you. Everyone that the enemy has programmed into your life to take what belongs to you, I cause a separation between you and those people. Let there be separation by thunder. Let there be separation by fire. He was desperate for food, but he didn't know that that plate of food that he had was an exchange of destiny. I pray for you. Every monetary spirit assigned to you to take and to steal, to take and to steal your birthright, 
to steal your glory. Everyone looking for an opportunity to see what belongs to you, to see your destiny and glory, they will fail and fail again. They will fail and fail again. You will not lose your battery. And for everyone that have, what is battery? What is battery? What is battery? Battery simply mean what make you to be you. The battery is so by the virtue of birth. Although they were giving birth the same day, but Esau came first, so he was the header. And Jacob was never satisfied that Esau was the header. Maybe you also occupy an enviable position in your family. Believe me, it's not everybody that is satisfied that you are successful. It's not everybody that is satisfied that you are in the U.S. It's not everybody that is satisfied that you are in the U.K. It's not everybody that loves the fact that you are successful. No, people around you are jealous of what you have. Jacob was jealous of what Esau had. But Esau himself did not value what he had. And the Bible says he despised his birthright. He said, what is it to me? He said, what is it to me? Maybe you are listening to me. What you wear physically, the one you wear in your dream, the one you wear sexually. Don't you know sex is a food? He said, let me just do it and forget about it. No, it's not just sex. It's a destiny exchange. Some food you eat, they are lifetime exchange of destiny. They are destiny exchange. It's a lost all that he was because of what he had. I pray for you. Let's pray for five minutes before we stop and make sure you share this post. Bat right is what makes you to be you. That is what makes Samson to be Samson. When Samson engaged in fornication, he lost the glory. When Esau ate a plate of food from his brother, he lost it. What makes you to be you? If you listen to me, you see one side area of your life. He said, I used to be better in this area. You see one area of your life that you are better yesterday. And you saw that your yesterday is better than your today. You better pray this prayer. When, when, before I began to pray this prayer, I saw a lot of people. He said they are walking in the shadow of themselves. You know yourself that you are more than this. You know yourself that the, this is not the best version of you. Yes, you are right. Because the star, the glory, the birthright, your destiny has been stolen. Sometimes you do it away yourself through sexual encounter and what you eat physically and, and drink. And even through what you wear, I pray for you. What make you to be you that is no longer in you? Receive it back. Now I want to pray for you for five minutes. I need you to be typing email as the point of contact. What make you to be you? What make you to be you? That is no longer in you. Receive it back in the name of Jesus. The grace that you used to have that is no longer visible in your life. The grace, the grace, the favor, the favor, the favor you used to have that is no longer in you. Receive it back. What make you to be you? What make you to be you? The authority you used to have, the gift you used to have, the power you used to have, the anointing you used to have, the mercy you used to have, the influence you used to have, the blessing you used to have, the financial dominion you used to have, the great people you used to surround yourself with before, that is no longer in you. Receive them back. God told Abraham, he said, I'm going to bless you and make you a blessing. The grace you used to have, the peace you used to have, the good health you used to have, the good relationship you used to have, the authority you used to have, great thing you used to have, that is no longer in you. Receive it back in the name of Jesus. What make you to be you? 
that is no longer you, that made your yesterday to be better than today, receive it back in the name of Jesus. And the Kadesia Mara, Ilikadase Mamara, what the enemy stole from you, that reduced your life to nothing, Ilikadase, what glory you threw away yourself, the destiny you threw yourself, Ilimaradada, Ilikasadara, Iliamarada, what the enemy take away from you, what you threw your away yourself, receive it back, what make you to be your, what Jacobian spirit, Jacobian spirit took away from you, receive it back, everyone around you, that is manipulating your destiny like Jacob, Jacob manipulated the destiny of his father, he said give it to me, so the Bible say he sold it, did he collect money? No. The Bible says he sold his birthright. The question is, did he collect money? No. You know, destiny has nothing to do with money. Sometimes, you only have one sexual encounter and you have sold your destiny. That's what Samson did. Samson only had one encounter. Samson had an encounter with a strange woman. And he said, how we arise. And do like before. The Bible says he did not know that what he used to have was no longer there. I pray for you. Every blessing, every glory, every star, every part of your birthright that you have lost to sexual encounter, receive it back. Three people are watching me right now, and you need to pray this prayer. That's strange. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That sexual encounter you had on March 28th was not just a sexual encounter, it was a destiny exchange. What you did in the past that make you to sell your birthright unknowingly, receive it back. Every area of your life that you have sold your birthright unknowingly, that you have sold your destiny unknowingly, through everything you have done, Aria say what you have lost, receive it back. And then conclude with this. Esau ate a plate of rice, pottage, and he lost his destiny. What you have lost as a result of what you eat in your dream. You see, some plate of food represents your destiny. That only if you eat this, they say, oh, it's gone. It doesn't matter when, when, and how. I pray for you. What you eat that make you to sell your destiny unknowingly. What the enemy gave you and you lose all that you are supposed to have. Receive it back in the name of Jesus. What you lost through what you had. Receive it back in the name of Jesus. And from today, for everyone listening to me, the power to say no, receive it. Do you know what? Esau was desperate to eat. And he lost his future. The Bible in the book of Hebrew, he said he wept so that he can get it back, but he couldn't. I pray for you. All that you have eaten, that I have eaten, I know what I'm saying. I know exactly what I'm saying. All that you have eaten, that I have eaten, that make us to lose our valuable destiny. I pray what we lost into the camp of the enemy, we get it back. Esau lost his destiny to the camp of Jacob. So Jacob represents a store of the wicked one. Whatever they get from you, they own it. So each time, throughout his life, Esau was now looking at himself in, in Jacob. 
everything that Jacob became, that is what Esau was destined to become. But because he lost it, that's why he couldn't amount to anything in future. I told you yesterday that the Bible says two nations were in the womb of Rebekah, their mother. And I look at it, where is the nation of Esau? When we mention Jacob today, Jacob became Israel, and Israel is a nation. Before they were given birth to, the Bible says two nations. Where is the nation of Esau? He lost his nation destiny. His nation, his nation like destiny because of what he has. I pray for you, what you had that make you lose who you are. Receive it back. All that you are, that you are lost as a result of the thing you have heard. You will know this prayer is for you by the revelation you have in the dream. And I saw the Lord said, He's going to give you an encounter today. And you will see that what you have lost. That you have received it back. I need you to be very careful as a counsel as I close. The Bible says Esau despised his birthright. Don't be anxious of anything. He was anxious of food and he lost his glory. Don't be anxious of sex. Don't be anxious of anything. Always pray before you make your move. I pray for you. What make you to be you? That is no longer in you. Receive it back in the name of Jesus. I see you tomorrow as we continue in this seven days fasting and prayer, praying against the spirit of Jacob. Yesterday, we deal with the spirit that make people to amount to nothing, the spirit of smallness. Today, we are dealing with destiny destroyer. What make you to be you? That is no longer in you. That's what we are praying for today. And I pray what make you to be you. It means what make you to be great. That is no longer in you. You are getting it back. And tomorrow we continue by looking at the spirit of Jacob. Destiny destroyer will not destroy your destiny. Destiny exchanger will not exchange your destiny. Destiny manipulator. We don't manipulate your destiny. The Lord bless you. Make sure you share the, uh, the post, whether you are watching on Facebook or you are watching on YouTube. The Lord bless you. Regina, it's been a long time. The Lord bless you.